Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, I showed how to connect to a database and add tables to the database and link them. Now, I want to show how to add a field and then show you a little bit about formatting. We'll get into formatting in the next video, the more details. But it's relatively easy. So, what I want to show is adding a field to the report. So if I expand this producer field, and I have the first field or table, and the first field is called producer. If I click and drag that into the report, you can see I'm dragging it into the details section. And now what that does is it basically will take every single producer that's in the system and it lists it out. If I click the next page, it's more, 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 more. And then, so that's how you add a field. So if I click on the design tab, you can see how it got added. And here's where I could move the heading, and I can move this. And this is just a, a marker to snap the these to it. If it get, gets close, it will snap to it. I usually remove them by right-clicking and selecting Remove All Vertical Grid Lines. Or if you're on the, on the side, you can do Horizontal. So getting back, see how I, and you can also move them around in here too like that. And a little bit about formatting, what that is, that's called absolute format. If I move it around, you can see how it basically doesn't really change the way the report looks. Now without getting too much into detail, I want to show a little bit about conditional formatting. For that we're going to have to create a group. Now that requires the group expert, which is this button right here. If I click on that, the first thing I want to group by is the producer number or ID producer field. And then the next field I want to group on is, let's say, the procedure field. Now for educational purposes, this TRX table stands for treatments. So now if I go down and, and do it on the procedure, which is the treatment number or ID, I'll double click on that so it's grouped by the producer number and then the procedure. Now I click OK. The report needs to refresh. Might take a little minute here. Now you can see how it's been grouped. And we'll go look at the design tab. It added groups to the report. Now the group header 1 is going to be the producer number, and then the group header 2 is going to be the procedure number. So every the reports now for every procedure or producer, it's going to show procedures that that producer has done because that's how we have the table linked. See, the first producer is is this one here, D107001, and now it's it's showing this one first because this is the first producer that has done any procedures. Now this next number is the procedure number. And then it just it has let's see if I if I count these, you know, it has about 30, 30 lines. That's because it, he's done or she's done 30 of these procedures. Now we'll get further into detail on how to suppress this or only show certain pr producers or procedures in later lessons. But for now, I'm going to delete this. And then, just so we get more practice, let's add the ID of the, of the treatment. Now we're getting different IDs. Like I said, without getting into too much detail, this shows the different. He say we he's done thirty procedures, or thirty treatments, if you will. That's the ID number for each one. It's unique. Real quick pointer: um, if these numbers here are look like this, and you want to want to have them look differently, you simply highlight the field, and up here is your number formatting area. So if I want to move the decimal point in one, I click this once. If I want to move it in again, I click it once. And if I want to remove this comma, I click that. If I want to turn it into a currency value, a monetary value, I click that. Percentage, I click that. So, but I want it to look like that, without any decimal placements or commas. So now getting back to conditional formatting, you can see when I go to the design tab that the ID field is stuck in the details section. And another side note, you can right click on these and select show short screen names to, to get more uh, space on your screen to save space. 
But anyways, now conditional formatting happens when you move this down to like a different section of the report, in this case group footer 2. Now if we go back, you can see that it's not displaying anywhere in the details section, just here. Now if I've, it's only displaying the ID, it's going to be the first ID. But if I take the procedure and put it there, it's going to display the procedure that what group section we're in. In this case it's 10150. Now I can do one step further and get rid of this details section, this big space. You can do that by simply going in here and right clicking on details and selecting suppress. Now you see these uh, diagonal lines are going through it indicating it's not going to be displayed. So if I click on preview, there we go. Now if for, for this producer, D107001, it's listing all the different procedures that that person has done. And of course there's going to be a lot. So that is a little bit about formatting. Absolute formatting is just simply moving fields around without changing the section. And the conditional formatting gives you, a, lets you make the report more versatile in how it's going to display. I know it's kind of vague and short, but that's uh, about all I can show you for right now. We'll go over it more in future lessons. Thanks for watching.